Hello traders and welcome to another video review. Uh, today is Tuesday, the 15th of the June 2021. Let's take a look at the Forex uh, calendar today. Uh, we got the monetary policy meeting minutes uh, at half past three um, in the night. So we will definitely take a look at the Australian dollar, but that was the most important um, event overnight uh, during the London session we have some data from the UK climate count change and count rate together with the average Enix index and as you can see uh, Enix index is uh, beating the expectations 5.6 percent versus 4.9 nevertheless climate count change minus 92,000 versus the 25,000 expected so bag of mixed data from uh, UK CPI from Germany and Cayman CPI all of them are in line with the expectations of 0.5% and 0.3% respectively not too many um, important data scheduled for release during the London session but during the New York session we have plenty of data from the US including the event of the day retail sales retail sales are scheduled for at least half past two and uh, retail sales is supposed to be minus minus this month minus 0.6 percent versus zero last time producer price index uh, capacity utilization industrial production manufacturing production business inventories plenty of data is going to be released uh, from the <coughs> us so we will definitely take a look at the us dollar index so the first uh, the first chart is a daily time frame chart of Australian dollar. What is going on here? Let me just uh, play with my chart. There you go. We uh, um, fall out of this channel, right? We are right now again uh, below this short term trend line. There was an attempt to rally above this trend line, but it failed. So, right now, the price is. Um, below this trend line we are approaching the 7680 uh, pips uh, level this is a technical support the other one is the lows from the third of the june uh, at 7648 so this will be another technical support and the last one is 7588 uh, of course this is another technical support but it doesn't look uh, really really uh, bullish um, uh, as long as we stay below this uh, trend line and definitely below 7822 uh, pips the key level is of course the high from the um, 10th of the May 2021 7892 so uh, despite some data from the Australia uh, we didn't have any uh, substantial move um, the market uh, it doesn't actually look neither bullish nor bearish but <coughs> the odds are uh, for the downside because the momentum is below the level of 50 and uh, it looks like it wants to go lower so 7680 will be tested or 7648 will be uh, tested soon um, crude oil uh, let me just take a look at the crude oil what do we have here and how do we follow our scenario the first thing is uh, we are following our scenario without any problem as you can see we just hit another target at 72 dollars almost 72 dollars the, the technical uh, resistance at 70.10 had been violated the recent high was 71.77 and that was yesterday's high so we are still uh, trading up we are still going higher the crude oil uh, at the yearly highs let me just take a look yes definitely yearly highs so nothing is right now changing here but there's one thing i would like to point out on the rsi as you can see the price of the crude oil is right now on the level of 70 uh, points on the rsi which means this is um uh, over about uh, market conditions but we have a new high here this is the previous high and some of you probably know we are diverging 
so the price is diverging from the momentum this high was made on the slower lower more dynamic momentum than the previous high so maybe just maybe the market participants in form of a of a bulls uh, might uh, might start to look for some sort of a pullback i mean the the pullback towards well the first is 70.10 and then of course lower levels of this upper channel line but the key technical support let me just point out the supports now this is the the key levels now are supports not the resistance the key level of the support let me just point it out is of course this one and the one below 67.97 and 67.6 those are the key level of the support it might be they might be touched uh, as soon as the market will get lower towards the level of 50 points on the other side which means it will enter the um the neutral uh, market uh, condition so please keep an eye on the crude oil because of the uh, signals i've just mentioned there is no signal from the um candlestick pattern no or price pattern or anything like this yet because all of this as you can see candles are all green and uh those are nothing uh, uh if you if you would like to be uh, um consider them as a signals for the for, from like a bench engulfing or something like this or the shooting star or whatever so there isn't nothing like this yet but please keep an eye on this price action and the future project and price action to the end of the week because it looks like we might have some sort of the pullback and the biggest pullback so far was 15 percent as you can see here and the one inside of this of this move up i mean this one was 8.20 percent percent around here so please keep an eye on the on the crude oil for this kind of a pullback and the last last things for today of course is the us dollar index let me just find it here there you go us dollar index what is going on here um ooh, not much to be honest with you guys we don't have too much of a movement to the upside recently uh, i think i need to copy that that level here and move it here because uh, again the, the market wants to uh, break above 90.5 62 the technical resistance from uh, 4th of the June it's been uh, capped twice uh, so far uh, on, on this uh, on this level so right now we are we are out of this channel so we will definitely get rid of this channel we are out of this channel and um, those bounces here are almost the same nevertheless this doesn't look impulsive so maybe there will be some sort of um, a trendless market here which means we will go uh, sideways uh, in order to prepare the market participants for another push lower lower towards 89.66 and this year lows at 89.15 is it possible well we will see we will see how this will develop so far any upside is being capped okay and uh, there isn't too many people buying the uh, us dollar across the board despite the uh, current uh, situation uh, on the uh, from the ma microeconomic point of uh, point of view and the data uh, uh, data point of view so the news and uh, economic <coughs> indicators so right now uh, we are going um, uh, sideways since the end of the might May, May 20, 25th of the May was the last low made on the US dollar index since then we got some <coughs> got some attempts to rally nothing like this happens um, uh, before because the last time we got only a few days and then another level low right now there's almost over two weeks right now when we are trending uh, sideways so please keep an eye on the us dollar for possible breakout for a breakout either above 90.62 but which is more common we will apparently do the wave c to the downside 
another another <coughs> wave down uh, might be made here on the US dollar index towards this year's low 89.66 and 89.15 so that's everything for me for today thank you very much for watching and I hope I see you guys tomorrow bye bye